the definition of direct and inverse variation. Remember from algebra, we say that y varies directly as x, or y is directly proportional to x, and we write y equals to k times x. k is the constant of proportionality. Or we can say that y varies inversely as x, or y is inversely proportional to x, and we write y as k divided by x. In either case, please note that the value of k is called the constant of variation. We're going to use this definition in our differential equation class. This is the basic algebra concept that is going to be used in ODE. In the applications of first-order differential equations, in many applications, the rate of change of a variable like y is proportional to the value of y itself. So for example, the rate of change of a population is directly proportional to the population itself. When y is a function of time like t, the proportion can be written as the rate of change of y with respect to time, which is proportional to y itself, which is k times y. So this is the differential equation model. Our goal is to solve this differential equation and find a mathematical model, which is the solution of that differential equation. So we have a nice theorem. This theorem is called exponential growth and decay model. If y is a differentiable function of t, such that y is positive, and the rate of change of y with respect to the variable t is proportional to y itself, that's why we write it as ky. For some constant like k, then y is equal to c e to power kt. So from the differential equation, you get a mathematical model. But what are the steps here? Since dy dt is equal to kt, this is basically coming from y prime equals to ky. So dy over dt is ky. It is separable differential equation. Why is that? We can write dy over y equals to k dt, which in turns can be taken the integral of both sides and the integral of dy dt is the integral of k dt. In turns, we get ln of y, which is kt plus c sub y. Now we can use some algebra that we learned before and simplify this. y is equal to e to power kt plus c1. And if we separate the base, y is equal to e to power kt plus times e to power c1 from the plus in the power, you can separate with the same base as multiplication and taking c to be e c sub one, this guy, which is a constant, y becomes c e to power kt. So that's how we get this mathematical model from this separable differential equation. Let us take a look at the theorem again and then go over one example together. So when you have y prime equals to ky, we can solve this and get this mathematical model y equals to c e to power kt. c is called the initial value of y, k is the proportionality constant or constant of proportionality. If k is positive, you get an exponential growth. And when k is negative, you get exponential decay. In this example, the rate of change of y is proportional to y. When t is equal to 0, your y value is 2. And when t is equal to 2, y becomes 4. 
what is the value of y when t is equal to 3? Very good. Let us set up our differential equation. Since y prime is equal to ky, we know that the mathematical model from the exponential growth and decay model is y equals to c e to power kt. Remember that on the exam, you need to show step-by-step -step work. So please go back to previous slide and take a look at step-by-step -step work. This is just a separable differential equation that can be easily solved. Now, the question says, hey, when t is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. So let us use our mathematical model and see what do we get. y is equal to 2. 2 is c times e to power 0. But e to power 0 is nothing but 1. So the initial value, or c, becomes 2. And we can rewrite this mathematical model as y equals to 2 e to power kt. In the next step, we need to calculate k because k is another variable. We don't want to have two variables here. Remember that when t is equal to 2, y is 4. This is given in the question to us. So now you just need to plug that into the new mathematical model, not the original one. We already solved c. So 4 is 2 times e to power 2k from algebra 2 is e to power 2k, then we can take the ln of both sides. 2k is equal to ln of 2. So k is a half ln of 2, and k is approximated by 0.3466. So we can write down our mathematical model as exponential function e to power 0.3466. 466 times t, and you have a 2 in front of it. So basically, taking this mathematical model and plugging k in it. As you can see, you have an exponential function. Now we can use this mathematical model to answer the rest of the question. What is the solution? What is the value when t is equal to 3? Let us go to the next slide. This is the mathematical model that we have. When t is equal to 3, the value of y is basically, you need to plug in 3 for t here. It's 2 times e to power point 3466 times 3, which is approximated by 5.657. Please make sure to use your calculator to get this approximation. OK, so what do we see here? What is the pattern? When t is equal to 0, y is 2. When t is equal to 2, when t increases, y increases to 4. And when t is equal to 3, your y is 5.657. You can visualize this as well. So we have an exponential function, which is the solution of this differential equation.